long. After that, three months and six months dating, you can choose one from three. Like Miss Universe again. You have to ask the most important question. What is the most important question? It is like your basic principle or value. I mean like this. You really, really cannot stand a person who is not loyal. So you have to ask the person the question about cheating or loyalty. Like Miss Universe, like the final question, like what do you think about cheating? What is considered cheating? If they said about micro cheating is okay, talking with different sex like male female is okay and you can accept that just eliminate the person okay you don't have to ask just one question because it is not miss universe patient you can ask them a lot of question like financial condition like religion like yeah basic thing which you cannot compromise like different religion you don't want to follow her religion or his religion you just go separate don't don't force your self to become their girlfriend or boyfriend if you cannot follow their religion if no one want to follow each other you will waste your time become their girlfriend or boyfriend so you must become smart and ask a lot of questions first friend first dating partner and then become girlfriend or boyfriend you have to ask final question you can write down the most important thing oh i cannot let my child like having nanny i want my child is taken care of their mommy so you have to ask if she wants to cook and clean and take care of your children at home all the time or she just want to become a carry woman and travel the world you have to ask because in the end, if someone want to become a housewife and the other one want to become a care woman or the guy want to like provide but not 50-50 but the guy want to take charge of the money more and he doesn't want the wife like 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 uh, become the manager financial manager of the family yeah it will become mess later in life when the wife took all of her husband money or salary you have to discuss it first the more you talk the more you ask the more you discuss you will avoid a lot of bad things and you can choose the right spouse later it's okay if they think that you are talkative if you are dating you are very selective it's okay because marriage is once for a lifetime i mean you don't want to spend a lot of money for lavish wedding and divorce and pay the divorce alimony settlement and pay for your children from ex-wife or ex-husband maybe <laughs> and you want to save your time for that and focus on building your career or business so you should take care of yourself and then you can focus with your life peacefully so to say at the first time you have to sell them well like miss universe page and they they select 
one by one and then do a lot of round of selection and then choose the best girl to become the Miss Universe. It doesn't have to be Miss Universe, but Mr. Universe too. You have to ask your husband wanna be. <laughs> if you are you have many sweeter, you can ask them questions, you can try to know their personality, you can ask counselor therapist, you can hire them to personality test, you can watch from YouTube and read article or psychological test. There are many popular psychological tests out there. But consult or therapist will help you better because they learn it for years. So you have to hire me <laughs> to help you choose your wife or husband. It's very important. Yeah. And then you can choose one and become girlfriend and boyfriend and do what I told you before, like practicing, become husband and wife, do chores, uh, just do boring things, just discussing where will you spend your weekend, who will go, and who will watch the sex, who will pick up the kid from school, something like that. And you can have a diary or note and start to write. Instead of celebrating anniversary each year, you can save your money for your dream wedding girls. You can just celebrate it at first year and then just save it, save your money for later, for your dress, for your jewelry, for your decoration and many things. So you don't have to spend a lot of money or just borrow money for your family or the bank or friend or steal money from other people just for having left this wedding because your life is not ended at your wedding party only it is not disney movie which is ended after the wedding party your marriage life is still a long time to go and you don't want to spend all of your saving just for one day or for your wedding party. Except you are very rich. It's different case. And then, how if you choose the wrong partner? Actually, because I'm Christian, maybe even though I'm not fanatic with Christianity, like, yeah, I know like before is not good thing, but like eating something you don't like. How can you stand eating all of your food if you don't like them? Even simple thing like food, you sometimes don't want to eat more. You don't want to eat it again and just throw it away or you just let it same with Mary's how can you stand staying in the same roof together with a person you don't have feeling with anymore or you don't love again because maybe they lie with you they they are not honest with you, they are not loyal, they are fake. How can you stand with them? I don't recommend people to get divorced, but yeah, like medicine too. You should stop consume same medicine if it is not affected your health and it is not good. Maybe it's too expensive. Maybe it is contrary with your other medicine. It's like if your spouse like fight with your family, you should defend your spouse because yeah, they're 
or the your soulmate in life but if they make a mistake too big to be forgiven yeah maybe you should think twice and discuss it with marriage counselor if you can still solve your problem if you have children maybe you have to have consultation session and try to find the best way the best solution for your marriage but if you don't have solution sacrificing your happiness just for your children happiness is not a good thing eventually many couples are divorced after the children become adult they think that they want they don't want their children life become like bad or suffer just because their parents divorce but Staying in a dysfunctional family like father and mother don't love each other and always fighting and even though they are not fighting they they don't show genuine love. A children have sensitive heart and they can sense it. And you don't want them to learn that this is the way I have I should have family later. Like mommy don't talk with daddy and daddy just go working all the time. Yeah, that is not a good example for your children. So you should ask their opinion. Don't don't just think that a children cannot think, a child cannot think. They are very clever actually. Maybe you can ask them slowly and give them like a uh, example like from a story. Yeah, what is their opinion? If they can give you a good opinion, maybe you can follow. If they want you to stay together, you can stay together. But if they think that it is good for you to divorce. Sometimes a little child can know that their parents should divorce. Children very clever this day because many information from social media and from Google and from many search engine they can know many things about their friends, parents, like their experience they can learn they know about other people's separation other people before they can learn and they know and you can ask their opinion about that you should take care of their financial demand but yeah if you cannot stand staying with them why would you sacrifice your own happiness to make other people happy like your parents maybe your environment your family your cousin your auntie your uncle you shouldn't sacrifice your own happiness you'd better become alone than feel lonely uh inside a marriage a desk dysfunctional and right married life that's why i'm still okay even though i'm single <laughs> even though i'm 30 and i'm single for 10 years i'm still okay i'm busy enjoying my life and learning many things and just with someone save me from this place yeah i don't think that this place is so bad I have my family here because but it's boring for young people like me stay in a small place like this and don't have a lot of money for traveling so I want to apply job and I want to work in different place yeah for refreshment for meeting someone new for dating life I hope your dating life will become better too, like me. And I will hope that you can find the right 
person to get married with and you, if you already suffer because you choose the wrong person just know that many person choose the wrong decision to same like choosing like major for university but university love maybe only for three or four years but means for a long time that is why my suggestion is don't be greedy don't just think that happiness will come from their wealth or their handsome or beautiful face even kind person sometimes do not compatible with you so i just suggest you to find someone who is compatible with you and can accept you and can support you your dream your weirdest behavior your habit your bad habit your spendthrift tendency to spend money on your hobby maybe you want to collect mini car but your wife doesn't want you to buy mini car anymore and you cannot this is the temptation to buy your collection don't marry her <laughs> find someone who can accept you but you have to inform them first baby this is my hobby i collect a lot of mini car i like them a lot i want you to understand if we already get married later i will save money to my to spend on my hobby collect mini car may i you can ask them nicely first if they don't know and you don't inform them first it's your fault but if you already inform and then they still ban you just look at the situation if you don't have a lot of money and you have to spend more money for your children you, yeah you can have to sacrifice your happy for your family but if you still have money and you are the one who work i mean you have right to use your own money from your own hard work so don't let her dominate you and don't let him stop you from your hobby Maybe like me, I want to travel more, but he wants me to cook and clean and become housewife, so full-time housewife. No, 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 I won't get married with a guy like that. I don't want. I want to travel together, maybe sell our big house and buy apartment in a lot of different places and just move to our apartment and rent it out for pay the bill after city tax or something and hire someone to take care of our apartment and we can visit our apartment in many places on many different country oh, it's so exotic lah. that is what i want if i have money if i don't have money maybe i just stay at different hotel at different places different city or different country that's why i try to have remote work job I apply as tour guide now but I think it is not good for long term because it is for freelance job and it doesn't cover my monthly expenses so I have to find other job to cover my expenses and because I'm not independent from my family yet that's why I don't want to get married soon I still want to learn more skill and dating more people and travel more and see the world but because i'm already 33 maybe it's hard for me to have children i'm too old maybe to become mother later that's why i consider to dating more people nowadays yeah i hope we can find our soulmate don't give up don't become desperate because your desperation will make you have wrinkle and make you not smile and people will think that you are ugly if you are fat but you are smiling people will think that oh you look younger 
you are like sweet and cheerful but if you are fat ugly and you don't smile and you you have bad aura or negativity around you people will not consider you as dating partner and not as boyfriend girlfriend or spouse wannabe so you have to stay positive and just have fun with your life don't don't try to find dating partner or spouse hurry but because i'm 33 i should try to find dating partner soon maybe because i don't want to become old jenny to have my job 